On today's show, we're going to create sauce tomat or a French tomato sauce. That is our fourth mother sauce out of the five in our little mini series. So hey, check all this stuff out we got right here. It's gonna go into an unbelievable, flavorful sauce. And next week, we're going to take our sauce tomato and create a marinara sauce, which is going to pair up and go with our dish shrimp diablo so hey i tell you what we've got everything right here almost forgot welcome to gourmet fishing i'm your host david murray yeah we've got everything we need right here so let's go ahead and get started on our sauce tomat right now Let's go ahead and get started on our French tomato sauce, our fourth of five basic mother sauces. Man, check everything out we got right here. Where do we start? Okay, we're gonna start right here. This is gonna be our first in the pot. This is one ounce or two strips of salt pork or what we call in the South fat back <laughs> right there. Then we've got, um, you know, we've got uh, one clove of garlic kind of sort of thinly sliced that and over here these two is a mirepoix which is carrots we've got celery and onion uh, we've got about a half a cup of each one of those and I went ahead and I grated those up so when they begin to cook they're gonna fall apart and kind of mesh into our sauce a little easier than just kind of sort of chopping those up now what else we got we got some sugar I always like to use sugar when I have anything to do with tomatoes. We've got a fresh bay leaf over here. We've got some um, fresh thyme that we're going to use. We've also got a few other uh, herbs that will be coming in next week, but I've got them right there because they kind of add a little something to it. Anyway, <laughs> and then right here we've got um, two tablespoons of butter and um, two tablespoons of flour. That's going to create our roux along with our chicken stock, which is uh, two cups of that and then right here we've got whole peeled tomatoes i've got about 32 ounces about the you get what the one the big cans 28 and then you get another smaller can and i've included the uh sauce from the 28 ounce can but not from the smaller can and you know here they are right here before we do anything with them i'll show you exactly what we're going to do with those here in a minute so i tell you what i think that's it isn't it yeah and then we got a little salt and pepper back over there uh, that we will taste, I mean season to taste. So let's tell you what, let's go ahead and get our fat back underway or our salt pork depending on on how, how you want to define it. And I tell you what, we're going to get this thing, okay I thought I had that thing preheated up but that's fine, that's fine. Gonna, we're going to put it on about a medium high and we're going to render render that salt pork or that fat back down to where it's a little nice and crispy and we get a uh, a, 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 a nice um, quantity of that pig fat sitting right there, which adds flavor beyond your imagination. So anyway, I don't know, you probably got pretty good imagination. It's kind of sort of like bacon, but, but not, it's not smoked. Anyway, so hey, let's go ahead and get this thing going. And we're going to render this down. Oh man, check that out. That is, that is rendering down well. I mean, look at all that. Look at that great flavor right there. That little bit of, that little bit of pig Fat right there, pig juice, which is perfect. And you know, we got another about another minute or so. It's been right out about a minute. Turn that down just a tad. But I tell you, we're going to. I'm going to move some of this out of the way so you can see a little better. Move that there. We'll put you here. Let's see. Yeah, you look like you can see well. So we're going to get these things that I need coming up. Voila, got them all in a row just like that. And check that out. Yes, sir. -ry. Oh man, yum yum yum. I tell you what, usually when, when I'm doing this <laughs> by myself, I got a little pan right over here and I got some of those strips of that fat back and I'm, 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 I'm frying that down for a little bit of snack as I cook. But we're not doing that today because it gets a little crunchy <laughs> and loud and I doubt y'all want to hear that. So here we go. See how we got nice and brown on our, um, on our little fat back right there. So I tell you what, we're going to come in right now. What are we going to add? Let's go ahead and add this onion, like I said, I went ahead and grated it. That's all the juices and all. This is a, uh, a sweet onion. So here we go. We're going to make some noise. Oh, yes. Oh, man. 
Boy, that added some good, good smells. Good kitchen smells right there. Now I'm going to turn this back up because boom, that, that, um, you know what? I'm going to get this out of that temperature just kind of sort of dropped, but that somewhat cool onion. And now right here, we've got, again, was a half, that was a half a cup. This half a cup of grated carrots and a half a cup of, um, celery, just like that. Now we're going to cook this thing down. You know what? Let's go ahead and do, do a little house cleaning. Move you out the way. All right. So. We're going to get this thing going and we're going to cook this down for, I don't know, about five minutes or so. And then we'll move on to adding our other neat flavors right over here. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, man, that's looking good and smelling awesome, too. Um, let's see. That's been about a minute or two cooking. And we got another couple of minutes and everything is starting to get nice and soft. Um, before we go any further, you need to have an oven safe um pot because we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven after we get everything pulled together and after it simmers for about 10 minutes after after it's all come together and we're going to put that in the oven and we're going to cook that slowly well slow yeah slowly about 90 minutes an hour and a half at 350 degrees and that's where that's where the magic happens and all those flavors are coming together but i tell you what that is looking that's getting getting close it really is heck yeah man that is looking awesome Oh man, I tell you what, that is looking good. All the uh, the, the liquid from the onions has, has been kind of sort of evaporated, leaving that good flavor. The uh, onions have absorbed what we had in there as our flavorful uh, pig juice from from rendering <laughs> that fat back down. Now we're gonna come in right now. We're gonna add our um, bay leaf, just like that. I'm gonna kind of sort of give that a little little pop with the uh, with the, with the uh, spoon down there and I'm coming I'm gonna grab let's see one let's see what am I gonna do I don't know we're gonna grab a couple of sprigs of um, fresh thyme just give that a good bruise just like so and we're gonna add that in here just like that oh man ah wow that does smell good heck yeah now I'm gonna come in let's see I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter just like so oh yeah get that all melted down in there take that and put you over here at the way and we're gonna get this cooking and I tell you the, the smells are are awesome I'm just letting you know <laughs> so anyway we've got that now we're gonna come in I'm gonna add my sugar and again I add that sugar to just about anything I cook with tomatoes because you can get a little bitterness a little, a little acidity in there uh, from from those tomatoes and um, you know that that, that sugar kind of sort of helps to to cut some of that out of whatever you're making so we've got that and I'm gonna come in I've got my garlic I kind of sort of put that in let's see get out of there get out of there at, I put that in at the end <laughs> so so you know you don't want to burn your garlic so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get some heat on that and get it to begin releasing those flavors and i tell you what we are getting real close to creating our roux and i take let me see oh man yeah and we're gonna do that right now because we already got our our butter in there we're gonna come in and we're just gonna sprinkle that in there and here we go now we're gonna cook this down for probably another minute or two i'm gonna turn this heat down to about medium and then we will add our chicken broth. Oh wow, that is looking good. Now it is time to add our chicken uh, broth or chicken stock, or if you've got veal stock or veal broth, that works just fine. Here we go, just like so. Now we're gonna stir this in and thicken up our liquid just a little bit, just like that. So I'm gonna turn, I turn it down now, I'm gonna turn it back up, just like so. And you'll notice a little bit of, um, of that flour on the bottom of the pan, just get in there with this liquid here and just kinda, kinda loosen all those good flavors and, and all that down on the bottom, loosen that so it gets dispersed throughout our tomato base 
Oh man, I tell you what, that is looking good. It, it has come together. It's nice and thick. Are we boiling? Are we boiling? There we go. That's now right now. That's as thick as this base is going to get, just based on on the roux or the flour, that thickening agent. So anyway, now obviously we can we can uh, you know cook it down, get that evaporation, it'll make it thicker. But we're not going to do that right now. I tell you what, we're going to do. Come here, grab this here. Let's give a little bit of a taste. Well, I won't light my mouth up. What do we got? That's good. That is good. You know what? We're going to come in with just a hint of salt. Just a hint. Not a lot right now. We will definitely be tasting and adjusting toward the end of, of the cooking process. So I'll tell you what. Here we go. Come in here. We're going to add... Huh. Let's see. I'm going to come in. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. Cool that off. Just like so. Let's see here. Don't want to make a big splashy mess, do we? I don't think so. <laughs> so we're going to be careful and do this now. These, as you can see, are, are not whole, like right there. And I'll show you what we did here in a sec. Let me get this in here. Oh, making a mess. All right. So just like that. Okay. What you want to do. At, sorry about that. After you uh, kind of sort of open up your can and, and, and or however you put them in, you want to come in. We're going to make a mess right here. And we're just going to kind of sort of crush them with our fingers. That's kind of kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> so just like that, we're going to crunch all of them up. Now, you, with these whole ones, you might want to, uh, you know, stick your thumb in there first. Just to cut, see there? Try to keep that from happening because if not, if you just grab it and squeeze it, that sucker's going to let some juice fly so here we go just like that okay yep i think we got it just like that heck yeah so take this put you here and i'm going to give a quick rinse and a quick dry and we're going to combine all of our good flavors in with these tomatoes or as tomatoes in with all of our good flavors just like that oh man i am making messes no problem at all so we're going to come in here just like that May not look too great right now, but I promise you it's going to turn out awesome. So we're going to come in, get everything combined, and we're going to cook this down for about five, six, seven minutes, something like that. And then we're going into the 350 degree oven for 90 minutes. Oh man, look at that. Oh, awesome. check that out man that is looking good we're right where we need to be it's been simmering for about five minutes now in the oven she's gonna go so what you want to do is when you start the process you want to get your oven preheated up to 350 degrees now i want to make sure that wasn't hot <laughs> we've got a, a a cookie sheet i'm going to put this down in the oven so in case it kind of sort of bubbles over, I can catch it here and it won't be all over my oven. Now, your, your, the, the, the perfect vessel or pot for this would be a Dutch oven with a, with a, uh, with a lid. Um, I, didn't, I don't have a Dutch oven. <laughs> so, you know what? We're going to use this and we've got a poor man's um, lid right here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of um, an opening right here on the end just like that okay i think that's perfect can i pick that up? yes i can okay so in we go there's the cookie sheet and here goes our sauce just like that hour and a half later take it out the oven we can let that cool then we're going to come over and make our sauce nice and smooth in the blender it's been about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes since, uh, you know, we put our sauce tomate in the oven to cook for its 90 minutes. And then we took it out and I didn't think you wanted to see me take it out and go, okay, hey, now we got to wait for it to cool down. Well, guess what? It has cooled down. I can kind of sort of get my hands around it. That's cool. So it is now time to take a look at what we created. Wow. Check that out. That does look pretty good, doesn't it? Heck yeah. Oh man, yes sir. Re. 
Heck yeah. Now, now it is time for us, you know what, I'm going to take this right here and use this again. Time for us to finish our sauce off. And we're going to come in, first of all, and get our herbs out of there. We should have two more. Oh, there he is. There's time number two. And we got us a bay leaf somewhere in here. Where is that guy? Ah, oh, there he is. Yes, sir. -y. The little flavor uh, flavor enhancer. So we have our blender. I'm going to do this. You know what? I'm going to put this <laughs> right there in the sink so I don't make too much of a mess. And we're just going to come in here just like that. Voila. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Just like that. Oh, wow. Check it out. Now I'm going to come in. Well, I think we are. There we are. That hair, lock it into place. Lock this into place. Give us a nice little rinse on the hands. And now we're going to pulse this a couple of times. And then we're going to hit it for, for about two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten <laughs> seconds. But we're just going to pulse this. And please be careful. Don't, don't Make sure this cools down some so you don't get hurt and burn yourself. So we're just going to give that a little a pulse, just like so. Just like that. Kind of, kind of sort of build your way up till, to just kind of sort of letting it go. Do it one more time. And voila, that is our sauce tomato or our french tomato sauce now we do have a couple of more steps we're going to do i'm going to come in with this rather large pot and the reason i've got that pot is because of this <laughs> rather large strainer what we're going to do is we're going we're to pour this in here and we're going to work some of the solids uh, around the strainer and some things we just don't want to keep so you know i kind of like to keep mine a nice smooth sauce so we're going to come in just like this well, I think there we are. Create a little bit of a vacuum in there. Now, turn that off, and we're just going to come in and pour our sauce in there, just like so. And I'll show you what this looks like right here. So, here we go. Check that out. Yes, sir. -y. Now, we need to come back and grab our spoon and we're going to work this sauce around our strainer now you don't have to do this you can leave it that, that right there is is perfect if you want to do that i just like to take it one step further now some of you may not have one of these probably most of you don't have <laughs> one of these things but you could use a, a you know a wire colander but we just come in here and we're just gonna work our sauce through there all right so there we have processed and we got a little bit of stuff left over in there it didn't quite get all eaten up by that blender and uh so again we're just trying to get some of that good flavor out of all the the solids now i'm going to come down and i'm just gonna scrape off some of that sauce that is still good and we can still munch down on. so there we are let's see here mess no mess that's awesome so we'll just throw it out away. Now we're left with an unbelievable sauce. Let's see what we got. Heck yeah. So here we go. Just like this. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Oh yeah, just like that. Look at that nice thing of sauce. Oh wow. Homemade tomato sauce, tomat, sauce tomat, whatever you want to call it. Let's come in here and give it a little bit of a taste. What do we have? Oh man, that, <clears throat> that is some good stuff right there. Heck yeah, wow, delicious. Now, I'm not gonna do any other seasonings to it cause we have another step. Wow, check that out. There is our sauce tomato or French tomato sauce. Heck yeah, now when we come back next week, we're gonna take this, make a marinara sauce out of that and then turn that marinara sauce into shrimp Diablo. And that's gonna be served over some fettuccine noodles. Hey, 
Speaking of marinara sauce, right down there, we got the video for Abaco Bar and Grills marinara sauce. And hey, right here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please do that. It really does help us out. And I tell you what, until next week and our lobster Diablo, Diablo, God bless and we'll see you soon.